Amanda Taylor, a.k.a. the selfie killer, will never get out of prison alive. She got life for stabbing her father-in-law, Charlie Taylor, 31 times. It's overkill, <laughs> but I was just free. Now, hear the knife-wielding killer in her own chilling words. In a Crime Watch Daily exclusive, Amanda speaks to us on the phone from behind bars and explains why she murdered Charlie and might have murdered more. I was very uh, angry. <laughs> I was very angry that Rex would have done that, but then I got even more angrier that his dad. I just wanted him to feel the pain I felt. Amanda says she killed Charlie because she blames him for the death of her husband, Rex. She claims he gave him opioids that ultimately led to his suicide. And then he brings up Rex again, and that's when I just looked at him and I started stabbing him. That's the most alive I've felt since Rex died. I was very happy. I was very happy just to finally get all that built up hate and anger and all those feelings out on him. When I stabbed him, I didn't see anything, and he just looked at me, and he was like, what are you doing? And as I was stabbing him, he had reached up and got my hair. I continued to stab him, but he just kept yelling, and it made me nervous. The son took the crowbar, the tire iron or whatever, and had hit him in the back of the head. Her explanation is sickening. Amanda says she compares the feeling of murder to a happy memory. To my first roller coaster ride, um, all the nerves and the feeling of like freedom and that's how I felt. It was very different than what I had in mind. It's not what you see in the movie. Amanda did something probably unheard of in a murder case. She snapped a selfie holding the murder weapon, Charlie's dead body in the frame. What was she thinking? I was just really excited and I was like, hey, I'm gonna take a picture so I can post it and show everyone. It was just something I, it made me really happy. Why did Amanda shoot her accomplice, Sean Ball, while they were on the lam? She claims he was taking drugs. That's why she pulled the trigger on him. I shot him for that because I was hurt, and I wanted him just to stop. Like, he kept lying and stuff, and that's why I shot him in the throat. I wasn't trying to kill him, kill him. I just wanted him to stop. And unbelievably, Amanda is complaining about how she was arrested. They didn't even give me time to like put the car in park or like get my seatbelt off. They yanked it off. They yanked me out. Now brace yourself. Was Amanda planning something even more sinister? Something that could have had a ripple effect around the world? Police tell Crime Watch Daily she reached out on social media to ISIS. They did make a very big deal about it. They acted like I was ready to put a backpack on and go blow something up. No, not yet. And in a shocking revelation, Amanda claims she even communicated online to people claiming to be members of the terrorist group. I had this weird obsession with it for a minute. Um, and I tried to reach out, but obviously nothing happened from it. But would she actually have joined the jihad against America? I wasn't trying to join ISIS. I wasn't going to go blow anything up in the name of I You know what I mean? Fortunately, that never happened. Thanks to crime blogger Natasha's tips to detectives and the dogged determination of cops in three states, this cold-blooded killer was stopped in her track. My priority was to get her into custody so that she could not harm anyone else. I had seen the brutality she was capable of, uh, and it was a brutal attack, one of the most brutal attacks I'd worked in my entire career. I knew she was capable of doing much more. The misguided thoughts of an apparent sociopath. And that's why Amanda will spend the rest of her life in prison. The horrific crime, almost unthinkable, except to her. I have absolutely no remorse for what I did to Charlie Taylor at all. I did exactly what I wanted to do. Amanda recently appealed her conviction and lost. She tells us she plans on appealing her sentence to the Supreme Court if she has to. I'm Chris Hansen. If you like this story, make sure you tune in every day to Crime Watch Daily. You can find where the show airs in your city at CrimeWatchDaily.com. Watch it live or record it on your DVR and watch it at night. And to all those criminals out there, remember, we are watching.